What's up, everybody? Dano the Preposterous Bard here. I hadn't done a uh, live food video since this quarantine started, and I um, uh, was going to do several, and I didn't ever do it. Well, today I got one for you. Because uh, it's National Hot Dog Day, and since I'm an Aldi nerd, I thought we would try out um, two different versions of Park View one of the Aldi brands they have. I've got Aldi Uncured Turkey Frank. Okay, no nitrates or nitrates added, not preserved Turkey Frank. And then this is the Park View Classic Hot Dog made with pork and chicken, definitely cured. And uh, interestingly enough, the ingredients list is about the same length. Anyway, so, turkey here, regular here. Um, I don't know which order I should start in. Uh, I'm gonna go left to right for me. Um, this is to be the classic dog. I did mustard, yellow mustard on one side of each of the dogs. I don't want the mustard to interfere, but happy National Hot Dog, everybody. We'll see which of these two reigns supreme here. I mean, oh, I also did them on the, if you're wondering how I cooked them, George Foreman Grill. That definitely tastes like your straight run-of-the-mill hot dog, like your uh, dollar movie hot dog. Yeah, I mean, I like hot dogs. That just tastes like your standard hot dog. Cheap, but good. I like it better than Bar S. Bar S is like the standard cheap ass hot dog. Um, I still think I prefer, um, if I'm gonna eat a hot dog on the like, do grill outside. I usually like the all beef uncured Franks. Um, Oscar Mayer does an actual pretty decent uncured beef hot dog as far as the name brand goes. I don't really like the skinless Franks from Nathan's. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people. Ballpark Franks. Um, I think if you're gonna get ballpark Franks you might as well be getting bar s. I mean that's just my opinion. Um, Hebrew National if you're gonna pay more, do that. But I mean, I think that you give it the same good a product. These uncured turkey franks, they're a little bit more than your classic hot dog. This was probably like a dollar. It's probably gonna be like two. Let's see how the turkey uncured frank holds up. Um. There's a better snap on that one. The snap is huge. Amazingly, the uncurred turkey frank has a better snap than the regular part view. Tastes pretty good. I mean, you can tell This doesn't have so much of that typical hot dog, artificial, you know, kind of bologna tasting. It was a little cleaner tasting. But you can definitely tell you're eating a turkey dog. I mean, if you're not doing a red meat diet and you're interested in nitrates, I'd say this is pretty good. This is worth the extra buck for health reasons. Tastes good enough for me, man. Um, I think I'd still rather do the uncured beef hot dog, but. Hmm. I like them both. But like I said, I like the uncured beef better than both. But for your price, on these two, 
unless you're just being for a cheap hot dog. If you're gonna get a cheap hot dog, go with a Park View. It's better than Bar S. I didn't tell that right all way. But if you want to watch your health, uh, who's watching their health while they're eating hot dogs? National Hot Dog Day. But this is worth the extra dollar if you're under, interested in that sort of thing. And if you're doing a no red meat diet, which I'm supposed to be doing. And I screwed that up. Anyway, happy National Hot Dog Day. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh, now, here, now here comes the pandering part. Feel free to do a like and subscribe and a bell notify if you want. I don't know. I don't do these things enough for you to warn about it, but at least if you hit the little bell notification thing, you'll know whenever I do post something new. So, anyway, happy July. Stay safe. Wear your mask in the store, assholes.